So, good morning. I hope you have a great day. I hope you'll join us later at 8 p.m. Central Time. Power Stroke Tech Talk with A-Rod. We're going to be live streaming just like we do every Wednesday. I just want to, uh, you know, uh, talk to you a little bit about a topic that maybe will matter to some mechanics and technicians. What is, you said, well, a mechanic is a technician. A technician is a mechanic. A mechanic is not a technician, but a technician could be a mechanic. The reason I say that is, there was a gentleman uh, yesterday that I know personally, he put out a video saying that a technician title is just a churched up way of enticing people over the last 10 years to go to the dealership. And I thought about that for a little bit, and I said, well, buddy, I'm thinking to myself, you got offended because somebody said, take it to a technician, not a mechanic. A technician is just a parts changer. They're worthless. Well, I agree that that is not true. Just like you, I would have been hurt by that. And I would have thought to myself, as a mechanic, I'm not just a parts changer. I'm not just worthless. I don't just know about mechanical stuff. I actually have to get into diagnostics and things like that as well, especially working on newer vehicles. That, that hurts, you know, when somebody says something like that, and they honestly believe that. You know, some people could be saying that just to get at you or, you or whatever, you know, but if they honestly believed that, that does kind of hurt a little bit. Well, he continued on in his video stating that a technician is just a tur churched up title you know, for over the last decade to get people to basically come into the dealership that is no different than a mechanic. Here's why you're wrong, buddy. Here's why you are wrong. Just like you were bothered by what somebody said about you, which we shouldn't be bothered by that stuff, right? It's only words, right? Sticks and stones. I'm bothered by what you said because my classification is a master technician. And why? Because I worked damn hard for that. I worked hard for that title. I worked hard to be called a technician. And the difference between a technician and a mechanic is the fact that a technician will start to profess in an area. They will become very skilled in an area. Not only that, they become more technically savvy than just a regular mechanic. That's why they're called a technician. Over the last decade, like you said, it did become more of an, a, uh, a thrown around term at the dealer level and um, special diagnostics for independent shops that deal with uh, higher end cars and um, like uh, Check Engine Chuck on TikTok. He is a technician to me because he does a lot of diagnostics. He gets into a lot of computer systems. He goes out and he does what other shops don't do when they can't diagnose something. He goes out and does it for them. Uh, when other shops can't fix the vehicles that I get in at the dealership that I work on, I've never had a single failure rate even though these vehicles have been to three, four, five different shops, I've always found what the problem is because I profess in an area and I'm more technically savvy in those areas than they are and my diagnostic skills is much greater than the average mechanic. So there is a difference. The difference is my capability to get the job done not only mechanically but technically is much greater than the average person that's why a lot of technicians look up to or mechanics look up to me they uh, at, they ask me for help and information and they don't profess to know the same stuff that I know because of the amount of schooling the amount of uh, school of hard knocks the amount of on the ground ground pounding and turning burning and turning the hours that I work uh, compared to most guys are unreal and a lot of guys look up to me for that and they come to me mechanics come to me for help and they're like hey you know can you help me diagnose this am i am i on the right track can you help me point me in the right direction and i'm like uh so even though the pinpoint test said to do all that do you realize how the system works you do you do know that there's multiple other modules online that can cause these issues and stuff uh with this as well it's not just that one code that takes you to that one module oh shit man how did you know that dude it's it's experience man it's experience, it's schooling, it's understanding programming, it's understanding module communication, it's understanding that the HVAC control module needs to send 
12 volts to the IPC and then the IPC needs to see that 12 volts in order to send to the PCM the fact that you need to have the AC compressor turned on in order for AC to work but when you test that entire circuit you're going to you're going to come up faulty somewhere else because you're not understanding that that's how the communication flow works so when I go test for 12 volts coming out of the HVAC control module, I have 12 volts, but I need to load test that circuit as well, and it won't even light up a test light. So how does the IPC know that you want HVAC control when it can't even see anything coming out of the module to the IPC to tell the PCM to engage the clutch by supplying ground on the ground control side? How does it know how to do all that if you don't know how to test the system properly you know how many technicians fail with that type of system because they don't know where to go they're like oh the hvac control module must be bad and then they put it in there and then they're like oh i fixed it see it's working yeah you fixed it but you didn't diagnose it you took a shot in the dark you didn't actually understand how the system works there's a big difference between a mechanic and a technician a technician can do what a mechanic can do and then some but a mechanic can't technically get into the same technical stuff that a technician can big difference call it call it what you want i deserve that title and i'm going to hold that title and i don't talk down to mechanics because i was once a mechanic i am a mechanic but i also hold a different title than just a mechanic it's like going to to a school and and, and saying that you know you, you even though you went to school for, you know, X amount of years and you never call yourself a doctor, you don't deserve that title. Well, actually they do. They have a doctorate in whatever it is. They just choose not to use that. Well, same with me. I am a mechanic, but I also have went to enough schooling and put enough time in the field and got enough certifications and understand these vehicles enough and how complicated they are to where I'm a technician. And ain't nobody going to take that from me. Another thing. One more thing. The reason things have changed so much over the last 10 years and people went to calling themselves technicians more than mechanics is because these damn manufacturers are putting upwards of 60 to 65 different modules on these vehicles. Being a mechanic anymore isn't necessarily, you know, it's nothing, nothing complicated. The complicated part is getting into being a diagnostician, diagnosing being technically savvy and understanding what's going on with 60 some modules on a vehicle at one time 99.9% .9 of mechanics out there that don't do what we do every single day would never even know where to begin they would never even know where to start they would never even understand how to test for micro voltage loss or micro amperage loss they would never even understand the fine 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 uh, workings of these computers because they simply just have not had the training and experience for it when you have field effect transistors and <clears throat> uh, 2020 Explorer uh, park brake fault set test all the wires go through everything nothing nothing going on at all can't see anything wrong with it engineers come out they're working on you with it 30 some hours later you're like look i believe there's a micro voltage drop inside the switch that i cannot see with a meter that the computer of this vehicle is so sensitive it knows it's there replace the electronic parking brake switch problem gone there's a difference between a mechanic and a technician people just want to take titles or take that that earning ability that somebody else has earned that away from them and say that no we're all in the same playing field no we're not if that was the case i wouldn't be seeing three and four and five different times a vehicle's been to a shop and then it gets to me and i'm just now after thousands of dollars later being able to diagnose it for somebody because all these other shops failed all these other mechanics failed and then they take it to a technician uh, here it is. Here's the problem. Well, what do you mean? They put a brand new mass airflow in that thing. Yeah, but if you can't read the numbers correctly and if you don't know what grams per second to expect and where faulty readings are a slight hiccup here and there and how to blow up the graphs on 
your data logger and look at smaller forms and then see the little glitch happen from time to time, you're never going to know that because a technician would know how to do all that stuff, not so much a mechanic if he wasn't really on his game. Now, this rule doesn't apply for every single situation, but for most of them, what I've said in this video is 100% accurate. Be blessed.